Well, development continues to be underway at the Nisswa Lake Park and Recreation Area. Sarah Winkleman joins us live now from our Brenner studio with an update on the project. Sarah? Yeah, Dennis, tonight community members gathered in Nisswa to celebrate the work that's already been done at the park and to get a sneak peek at what's still to come. The idea of the Nisswa Lake Park was first put into action over 10 years ago with the formation of the Friends of Nisswa Lake Park. After years of fundraising, the group received a large donation to help gain momentum. And we decided to, uh, to, to accept a donation for $35,000 to start the trails out in the park. Behind that large donation was community member Millie Jertson, who tonight was recognized for her efforts. Although she says her love for the outdoors made her contribution a no-brainer. <laughs> I said, why not? <laughs> but she didn't stop there and made an additional $50,000 donation to build a picnic shelter at the park. I, I don't know how to even describe the gift that she gave to the city by donating. Already underway are the ADA-compliant trails leading Nisswa Lake into downtown and the new picnic shelter. Things are actually starting to shape up out there. But a major item still on the to-do list is the construction of a new dock system for people to tie up their boats and head into the city of Nisswa. The one thing that Nisswa has always kind of lacked is access to water. You know, we're so close to it and it's, it really encapsul encapsulates everything that we do up in the Brainerd Lakes area. Also in the future plans is the addition of a new boardwalk along the waterfront. The value in this park and, and seeing what it's capable of to help out the city of Nisswa. And as for Millie, she can't wait for it to warm up and go enjoy a picnic at the new park. It's just something I enjoy. And in a new park built for tourists and locals alike. The park is, is the result of many, many people over the years seeing a vision for creating a legacy for our future. Now the goal is to have the trail, the pavilion, and the other picnic areas set to go by the 4th of July. And as for the other projects, they'll be completed as soon as the funds come in over the next few years. Dennis? All right, thank you very much, Sarah, for that live report from our Brainerd studio tonight. Information on how to make a donation to the park can be found on our website at lptv.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.